Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you're not following my blog, you can follow me at Miss Serenity Smith babies.com and also um you can follow me on Instagram at Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Alright, so today I am just going to do a quick video. This is very quick. Um Today I have with me Charlotte and Lauren. Charlotte is the Alexis Sculpt by Cassie Brace and Lauren is the Laura Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Both painted by me. Two different skin tones as you can see even though they may kind of in some pictures seem like they are close in color. They are different colored skin tones. Um, different, just different. Um, but I just wanted to share like Laura has, Lauren has a good size to her, um, but the Alexis, which is Charlotte, has a really good size to her. She's really a nice size baby for dressing. Both are nice size babies for dressing because they're not like super tiny. Um, of course, I got her a little bit further down. All right. So, like, if they were head to head, kind of like, sort of, somehow, whatever, um, it is a big difference um, in the length and everything. So, which is pretty cool because I think uh, Alexis Kit says she's 23 inches or 22 inches, something like that, and Laura's 20 and a half, which is kind of crazy because it's it's like a big difference in their their length and their size so um also um like I love you know Charlotte's hands I love um Laura's hands I love both of their feet but I want to show you this which is funny um Laura's feet is actually bigger than um Charlotte's but Charlotte has a nice size feet. Like I think her feet is good enough for her. Um, I'm still able to put them on little shoes. Um, you know, find shoes that work for her. So those are her feet. And these are this little girl feet. Um, her feet is longer. I don't know how to show you guys that. But just just by a little bit Laura's feet is a little bit longer um so that's that's that was pretty interesting to me um that despite her being the smallest she has bigger feet um and that's okay because some babies do actually have big feet and some babies don't I was actually pretty surprised at how big my grandson's feet were compared to um my granddaughter feet um at newborn he has really big feet like um laura and um then audrey had smaller feet which makes sense she's a girl but you know it's just it's just funny i don't even remember any of my babies having feet as big as um bryson but then it's been a hundred years since then but anyway so of course head size is bigger she's a you know, a little bit fatter. Although Lauren does have a little little weight to her, um, she's because she's appropriate for her size and her scope. So I really like them both a lot. These are like some of my favorite scopes for 2021. Um, so when people tell me again, I have to keep saying this. Um, I asked artists the other day how big was a baby and she quoted me inches um and then sometime I usually go back and be specific but being that I wasn't in the process of purchasing the baby I didn't want to like you know start asking like all these detailed questions and you know it's like kind of taking up her time um time is money when you're an artist so um I like to know, like, are they fitting more into zero to three or three to six month size clothes? Like, 
you know, that type of thing. Because otherwise, we really just don't know. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't register um, necessarily. I don't know that I, I said that, that Lauren would replace Charlotte. But I'm very, very connected to Charlotte, which is why I sent um, Rio for hair before her. Um, because I'll probably sell Rio and keep Charlotte. I know I just keep going back and forth. We only know to when the baby come back. But um, I I really want to see Charlotte all the way through. Um, I really want to see her all the way through. I want to see her with the exact hairstyle that I planned for her. And just, you know, I just want to see her completely finished as well as like Lauren. I want to see them two finished. And I have another one of these kits, you know, I have Memphis and I'm going to get Memphis and Zora rooted as well. So I'll probably get Lauren rooted, then like Zora or Memphis somewhere in between. But I try, I try to switch it up. But if I have a baby that I have that I want to sell and it needs hair, I tend to go ahead and send them um, before my personal babies, which kind of suck sometimes because I don't root myself. But since I'm trying out other rooters right now, um, depending on how it all go, I may be able to be able to do the, like two at a time. You know what I mean? Like one that's going to be for sale and one for my personal. So yeah. So anyway, that is it. I just wanted to show a little bit of comparison on them. Um, I will pierce Lauren ears when she gets back and, um, she will be leaving fairly soon. Like I mentioned before, I, I, I swallow hard when I have to say that, like, she's going to be leaving soon. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really ready for it, but anyway, I'm going to go. I just wanted to do this before I go in I'm about to paint some more undertones and details on the silicone baby that I'm working on as a custom. Um, that is a whole nother subject for a whole nother video about where I'm at with my ideas for customs for 2022. Um, yeah, it's always a up and down with me with that, but it's like, and I, and I, I guess that's why I can't fault people for trying sometime, like asking me, are you accepting customs versus, you know, I keep saying I'm not. And then people will be like, are you accepting customs? Cause every now and then I'm like, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. But, um, the customs that I've been working on, I have not been stressed. I do feel pressure still. It's so weird. Like I said, I don't want to make this video too long, but I do feel some type of pressure. But I'm learning how to kind of relieve that pressure. But I'll talk about that in the next video. Thank you. Bye, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. And leave me a comment. I love your comments.